Hey robot fans, welcome back to the build. Last time we gave Chopper his legs, but what good are legs without an arm? Today we're going to give Chopper his utility arm and initiate the first ever human to robot handshake. So the design for this is pretty simple. I'm going to start with a main box to house the arm with a lid. These pieces are going to have the top and bottom parts of the main shoulder swivel built right in. Sandwiched between those two parts is going to be our main rotating shoulder hub. This will have a bearing installed inside of it and will connect directly to an HS645MG servo below via an M5 bolt. This bolt hits a bearing at the bottom of the housing, travels through the main hub, and locks at the top with an M5 locking nut bound in a plastic piece screwed directly to the hub. This will give us the controllable rotation of the arm that we want, and the rest of the arm will be built off of this main hub and supported with M3 steel rods. Okay, everything is printed out here. I have the main mechanism set up to test, and if we turn the little knobber down here at the bottom, arm moves as it should. I got the rest of the parts of the arm printed, so we're good to go. Now, it wouldn't be a chopper video unless I destroyed part of the previous design to make the new design work. So we gotta get rid of this little crossbar here. I installed the servo with a little mount that attaches to this main upright here, and I'm using an Actobotic servo controller, which I actually won from one of Servo City's Friday giveaways. So definitely sign up for those things. You can get some cool stuff. All right, let's try our robot handshake, the first ever unconfirmed robot handshake. <laughs> the arm's not glued yet because I want to paint it a little bit easier in parts, so it's a little wobbly, but it works. Maybe a high five will be better. Come on, Chopper, give me some skin. Backhand, forward, secret shake. Oh, yeah. I mean, if that's not the coolest thing you've ever seen. So this is working great. Cool. All right, I think that's gonna do it for this video. I know it was a short one, but we got the uh, utility arm installed and working, and we've blocked out this space ahead of the next video. The next video is gonna be all about the third leg mechanism and completing the 232 conversion. So stay tuned for that. If you like these videos, please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.